Good morning everyone. So today we're going to start off the video with me tying up a fly and then I'm going to take it out and fish with it and get some nice fish on it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this little video. We got a huge variety of fish on this fly. It's very simple and easy to fly a tie. So hopefully you guys can tie it up and have some success for yourself. But with that being said, if you guys ever need any fly tying material, check out the link down below in the description for 20% off all your fly tying materials. The guys over at Nomad Anglers are very helpful. They really got me into fly fishing and they recently gave me a code to give you guys to get 20% off all their fly tying materials through their online shop. So if you guys want to check that out, I'd really appreciate it. They've been really supportive of my channel and really helpful to me, so I'm really happy to hopefully send them traffic their way and help them out a little bit. Either way, guys, enough talking. Let's get right into the video, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. There we go. Don't know what I have on here. Probably might have snagged it. <laughs> I just kind of stripped into him. Oh man, it's a carp. <laughs> it's a carp. <laughs> this thing is, geez, this is, well, <laughs> got something on. Oh, it's a pike, what? It's a nice pike, I hooked it in the mouth. Oh my gosh, can't believe I didn't break it off. That's crazy, small, tiny fly. Nice, probably mid 30 inch pike. I was not expecting that. Pike on the fly, guys. So oh, sweet. That's too cool. Thank you, dude. Okay, guys, here is the fish. Nice surprise. Did not expect a pike today. Probably getting a lot of carp and some drum and things like that, but great surprise right here. Nice 33 inch pike. So let's get him right back and uh, maybe get a few more. All right. See you later. Ooh, we got one. Ooh, there we go. That was a good hit. Thing thumped it. What are the chances it's another pike? <laughs> okay, he's on the reel. I'm gonna walk him down here. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a carp. <laughs> he's way over there too. On that streamer again, tiny little black streamer. They were smoking it. This is either a giant, actually this could be so many different things. After getting that pike, I really don't want to say what I think it is because it's going to be something totally different. Oh yeah, a little carp. It looks like it's in the mouth though. It's 
streamer biting carp. Hard to beat that. Catching carp on the fly with moving baits like that, that's pretty cool. Let's get him unhooked and get him right back. See ya. Yeah, well now I've gotten carp and pike, it's time for gar, drum, and catfish and we'll get the whole slam. Oh, here we go, come on. There we go, there we go. Another one, did he hit it? I think he actually hit this one. Come on, please stay on. These things are so hard to keep on if they're actually hooked in the mouth. Sweet. First one I actually hooked that's actually in the mouth on the six weight. We're seeing these gar all over on the shore. They're spawning and um, we've been throwing these little flies at them, trying to get them to grab it. Most of them are interested, but we're getting a few that are nipping at it. Like I said though, they're super hard. Their mouths are super hard, they're like just like firm mouths, which make it super hard to get a hook in there. Gotcha. Okay, here's a look at the fish. Again, super weird, cool looking spots on them. Super long nose. I mean, they've got, I'll try to show you guys here. It might be kind of hard to show you, but they've got some, yeah, crazy teeth there. Look at those, super sharp. Keep your hands away from those, but great looking fish. What do you got? What is it? I hope it's a small mouth. That'd be sweet if it's a small mouth. Oh, it is, you need net. I'm gonna net that for you. Or at least grab it. Too big. Really? That looks huge. Maybe. Come here, come here, come here. There go. That's not a bad little fish. Nice. That is species number four, right? Yeah. Yep, four species. Not bad. Okay, so I'm gonna keep fishing for these gar for a little bit longer, maybe get, try to get one or two more. Um, I'm throwing really simple, this is like a streamer, kind of like a woolly bugger type bait here. Um, either way, really anything will work for these uh, gar. They're just basically going after like instincts, I'm assuming. But any kind of flashy little streamer type bait, uh, working pretty well, keeping it right near the surface. Cause like I mentioned, they are sitting right at the surface of the water here. Um, but now we've gotten four species, so I'm not sure how long I'll do this cause I wanna try to get like a catfish or a drum or something just to keep getting different species, so. Seems like it's a pretty good day. It kind of changes every day here, but today is a pretty good multi-species day, it looks like, so we're gonna try to take advantage of that. Cause I'm just moving some on the bottom, so I'm not gonna like... There we go. That thing thumped it, what the heck? This drum, there we go. There's a drum. <laughs> Man. Throwing a little bass jig now, I switched up just a little bit. I didn't have too much room to cast the fly with where we were at the time. And I uh, got a little freshwater drum here. We've got smallmouth, pike, gar, carp, and drum. That is pretty cool. Crush the jig. Great looking fish, let's get right back and maybe get that catfish now. Oh, is that pike? It kind of looks like a pike. Yep, little pike. Here, I'll grab him for you. On, this, on that spoon. Hey, hey, hey. Little pike, a little smaller than the first one, but hey, it's not bad. See ya. Wow, my drag was really loose. <laughs> I forgot I loosened it up for that last one. Just another drum. I think it's about time to go back to the fly because all I'm catching on these jigs are drum. That's a nice one though. That's a nice drum. Any fish that pulls that hard has my interest. Yeah, it's about tied maybe. Crushing that jig. Great looking fish. Nice, tall, hard fighting drum. 
Okay, we're gonna put the jig away and throw the fly rod a little longer because we're getting these drum like crazy around here and that'd be pretty fun to get one of these drum on the fly. So we're gonna give the little small black streamer a go again and see what happens. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I didn't even think about that. There we go. Man, smoked it. He like pit slack in my line, or he was like pulling line out. That was an aggressive hit. What is it? What is it? Hey, it took my catfish. Nice. There we go. Now we both got a catfish. I'll, I can grab him. It's fine. He's not real big. That's awesome. I think my second ever catfish in a fly. Check it out. Catfish on the streamer. Pretty cool. Nice little kitty cat. There we go. What do we have here? Right on the last cast. It's been pretty good action for us. This is feeling like the last one I lost. Just staying down and heavy. Could be a big fish. Dang, this thing is pulling hard. I really hope this is a big giant carp, like a 30 pounder in the mouth. Come on. I keep seeing the leader and really want to see this fish. Looks like it's in the mouth, at least close enough to the mouth where we'll call it good. There we go, nice. Okay guys, here's the carp, maybe around 15, 16 pounds, good looking fish. Not quite as big as I thought he was, but still, I mean, great looking, really healthy, just thick carp. I mean, nice looking fish, so let's get him right back and maybe get that walleye. That's the last species we're going for now. And that's going to be a wrap. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Huge thanks to Eric for taking me out. And don't forget to check out the link down below for 20% off all your fly tying materials. So I'm hoping to do some pike fishing soon. I'm still waiting around the rivers to lower a little bit. It's been super rainy here around in Michigan. And uh, the rivers are pretty high right now. But shouldn't be too long. So bear with me guys. But thanks for watching. And of course, I'll catch you guys next time.